I mean, um, we're on the draw. And we only need to hit uh, sign in blood or a white source to fully function. So we're going to keep this. It's a great hand unless Josh has specifically Elvish Mystic into Rabble Master. Alright, so we're fine. Most likely. We can still not hit our land drops, but... Alright, I'm going to lead with the Swamp here because um, if we draw a Sign in Blood, I want to be able to cast it. We don't. Alright. Let's stop Josh from hitting us hard next turn. Alright, we're going to grab the Ash Cloud Phoenix, no question. We have Lightning Strike, Stormbreath Dragon, and Mountain. Uh, so he mulligan, we're going to keep. And we're just going to deploy a Bramaz next turn. There's our sign of blood. Um, this, there's a really cool series of plays that you can do with this deck, where you just play, um, you play a Sign in Blood into Thought Seize when you have a Seeker of the Way out. I'm going to Sign in Blood right now to try to hit my land drop. So now I have a couple of options. I can Thought Seize first and grab the dragon. Or I can attack first. I don't think it matters. I think that um, Josh is going to be inclined to block with the Mystic and then Lightning Bolt my Bramaz. Yeah. Which is fine. I have to thought seize now in case um, in case he draws another land for the dragon. But I'll pass the turn. I can deploy another Bramaz next turn. Or actually, I'll play a Soren and plus one. I want to gain some life back. And because the Vampire has Vigilance, it can, or because of the Cat Soldier has Vigilance, it can block on the backswing. Seeker is okay, but I have enough threats right now. I want more answers. So we can block the, the air. If um if Josh doesn't play uh geez, okay. So we'll see what he goes for here. Alright, that's smart. He's going for the face. So I'm going to make a vampire, and I'm just going to hear his downfall of the dragon right now to play around any shenanigans, but I'll play the Scoured Barons to gain life and pass the turn.
So I gain life up to five. I can attack, I mean plus one, attack with the vampire, go up to eight, and then cast wingmate rock. Which I think is the plan. Or I can minus two for a vampire and then cast Brimaz. So I have two blockers and then, yeah. So I won't get the, um, the wingmate rock into play as early, but this sets me up to gain the maximum amount of life next turn while staying out of, um, out of range of any weird, weird shenanigans. Uh, one second. Okay, sorry about that. That's better. All right, where are we attacking? We're attacking me. I'm going to just block. Of course. Trade off. What is this? This is a Crater's Clause on the Brimass. Interesting. I have by far enough threats, so I'm just going to cast the Wingmate Rock without Raid. And plus the Sorin. So now I'm minus two and cast the uh, the other sword and plus one. I get to gain five life here. So I'll go to 10 and Josh will go to 11. And now it's going to be extremely difficult for Josh to win. Yeah, he just concedes. So I had to play a little carefully to avoid getting um, getting killed there, but I made it out and was able to uh, to win. I'm going to bring in a Johnny cut and then the drowns on the draw in for the side in bloods. And we'll go with that. Again, on the play, I like Elsbeth more. More than Drown. But on the draw, I think I need a way to catch up a little bit. The sand is completely reasonable. Has a lot of interaction. I'm banking on the fact that I draw my third land in time, but that's not too much of a stretch. And there we go. So we could be looking at a four drop next turn, which I'm pretty fine with because the only real four drop I'm scared of is, the only real four drop in his deck is Ashcloud Phoenix, and that gets hit by Drown and Sorrow as well, so I'm fine with just playing a Scoured Barons and passing the turn, letting Josh do whatever he uh, he wants to do. Which I assume includes um Boonsader. Alright. I'm going to run out the Brumaz. See if we can get 
Josh to play that Boon Tater, and then I can drown in sorrow. Yep. Okay, so if Josh doesn't have Crater's Claws, the game is really easy. If he does, then takes up most of his turn. Okay, he's going to Faded Conflagration, which is also fine. And I'll take five. This Drown is really sweet. Downfall is great. Um, I'm, I'm the only creature I'm really worried about here that Bile Blight doesn't hit is Storm Breath Dragon. Okay. Let's go ahead and run out the Soren. Make Vampire and pass the turn. Crater's Claws, okay. Well, we get to uh, trigger Raid for Wingmate Rock. Or turn on Raid, rather. Which is going to be excellent in uh, just pulling us ahead in this game. I find it very difficult to see how we actually lose here. Given that we have Wingmate Rock and Friend and Vampire, plus all this removal in our hand. Yeah, dragons are not a problem. Especially for a hero's downfall. And now I'll go ahead and thought seize here. And or not. I guess that's just it. Sweet. So we got that match pretty convincingly. Things kind of uh, came together. We drew well. Got some, got some card advantage. You know, Brimaz helped, Soren helped, and then Wingmate Rock really took it away. So, all right. Um, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for round three.